So, um, you know, it was, it was great teaching this class, which was called Math and What It Means to Be Human. And uh, it started with a sort of collaboration um, for the play Arcadia, which uh, Michelle uh, was the dramaturg for. So maybe you can tell me how that happened. Sure. So I'm the resident dramaturg at the Folger Theatre in Washington. And um, one of the plays we did was Arcadia. This was a number of years ago. But within this play, it features mathematicians doing hard math. But I was stuck because I did not understand the sophistications of the mathematics at all. So I approached Manil to say, help. And, and let, well, me, let me just say, you know, you were, you were so apologetic almost. <laughs> true, and I the was. thing is that mathematicians, we just wait for someone to ask <laughs> us about math. So I said, of course I'm going to help, you know. And then I probably did too much. No, I, no, you were magnificent. <laughs> so... Daniel sat me down and explained the mathematics to me, and he was so effective at it that I said, would you mind talking to the actors at and, that time? And I think I can take full credit for all the success of the play and the results, <laughs> it right? It was all successful. due to me, all due to that one talk that I gave. Uh, we decided that there was this other opportunity to once again collaborate, and this was called the Humanities Seminar, which of course I had never heard about since I'm a mathematician and we are just supposed to stay in our little office and not interact with anyone. The purpose of this seminar for these scholars is to create a kind of cohort experience for them. And traditionally, it's team taught by members of two different disciplines. And I couldn't help but wonder if the excitement that I felt hearing mathematics described by Manil would extend to these freshmen. But I was sympathetic when I met with those scholars during their orientation and said, okay, here's what we're going to do for your seminar. Um, we're going to think about math in relation to literature and philosophy and film and see how this goes. Um, I think that there were some conflicts in terms of the way we approach the material that is a result of our disciplines. Humanities, we're always saying, make connections between disparate subjects, see where that will go. And Manil was a little surprised to see that. Wait a minute, aren't we mixing apples and oranges here? And I said, yes, let's mix them and make fruit salad. <laughs> and he was a little unsure yeah. if that was the way to go. Was, uh, I mean, in math, you really have to be very precise. And here, uh, it was sort of, the precision was completely out of the window. I think the humanities, it deals a lot with metaphor. And sometimes I remember saying once in class, I'm drowning in a sea of metaphor. <laughs> Where is the precision? And so that was a big issue for me. Right, and the precision was actually one of the key points for me as well. You know, Mania would say, but math is such a, mathematics is such a precise discipline. And I would say, but so is poetry. The difference is that with poetry, the precision occurs in the creation. One of the units that was so prominent for me was fairly early on and it was a unit that we called pie and patterns. Looking for patterns in mathematics, looking for patterns in literature, and there's so much to be seen in current terms of recurring patterns. Mm -hmm. And so now whatever I read, whether it's something I'm teaching, well for pleasure, I started seeing the patterns everywhere. So that has absolutely affected my vision. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, in terms of the big thing that was um, something that you taught me in this class was really the seminar issue. Like how do you elicit people's interpretations? How do you elicit their comments and what they think about something? Which is something that we just don't do enough about in math. But I've always been a math phobe. I've been terrified of math. And it was because of working with Manil that I thought, you know, I've really been missing out. There are connections between mathematics and the humanities that are worth exploring. And I think that, you know, at a place like UMBC, which so fosters interdisciplinary approaches to teaching and to research, I felt like this was the ideal place to do it.